Hey everybody, it's Dr. Kara. Did you know that there have been over a hundred different specific benefits for meditation and what it will do to improve your physical, mental, emotional health? And if you are an animal communicator or an animal healer, you've probably already heard me talking about how it can really help you become a better animal communicator. And not only that, but meditation on a regular basis can help you live a healthier, happier life, which is awesome, right? Like we all want that. And we all want more success. And it can help us with that too. The The benefits of meditation are um, almost unending, like lists are expanding all the freaking time. So in this video, I am going to share with you one of my most recommended books of all of 2021, which is Bliss Brain. And this is a book by Dawson Church. And it's all about the neuroscience of remodeling your brain for resilience, creativity, and joy, which is awesome because we could all use all of those things, right? Like that's awesome stuff. But because I'm an animal communicator and I want to help animal communicators and healers become the communicator or the healer they want to become, I really want to talk about this in terms of how it can help you become an animal communicator or healer. So in this video, I'm going to do a quick review of this book and also share with you the seven steps of meditation that have been scientifically proven to be effective, how long it takes to actually re re rewire your brain, and of course, how meditation can help you on your journey to become the animal communicator or healer that you want to be. So um, I am Dr. Kara Gubbins, professional animal communicator, host of the Animal Communicator and Healer Summit, and creator of How to Talk to Your Pet, the proven four-step system that teaches anyone and everyone how to communicate intuitively with their pets or with any animal. And I am on a mission to help every animal lover who wants to become an animal communicator or healer succeed at that. I want to live in a world where everybody who wants to be is an animal communicator or healer. And so I want to just share as many of the tools that I've used on my journey that have helped me, that have helped my clients, that have helped my students with as many people as possible and just spread this animal communication thing as far around the world, excuse me, as I possibly can. And so that's why in this video, I wanna share why meditation is so, so important and so, so effective for animal communicators and healers. So let's start with the first thing that I said. So number one was the seven steps. Dawson Church has been researching energy medicine um, for decades. He's a, a fantastic writer. He's got a number of best-selling books. This is his latest, Bliss Brain, and it's all about activating the enlightenment center in your brain so that you automatically become a more calm, peaceful, focused, effective, aligned, <laughs> you know, um, better person. And what he's done is taken meditation and all these different meditation practices, and he's analyzed them. He's done the research to measure what happens in our brains when we meditate. And not only that, he's gone one step further, and he's actually used scientific data to show which methods of meditation are the most effective. So we've got all these different kinds of meditation. And what he's done is done all this research on all these different kinds of meditation. And he has brought all of that information down to seven specific steps that together make the most effective meditation practice. And by that, what he means is it's the most reliable way to get your brain into that meditative state where all of those benefits can then happen. They flow from that. So it's really about on a regular basis, getting our brains into that state. And then all of that just leads the rest of our body to, to um, experience all of these amazing benefits with uh, physical health, mental health, emotional health, our spiritual well-being, 
all of it is positively affected by meditation. So um, the first thing of those seven pieces of effective meditation is EFT, emotional freedom techniques. And that is tapping on specific acupressure points on your body. And these are some of the points. And you do one round of EFT tapping for this um, meditation that he teaches, what he calls eco meditation. Number two, you relax your tongue on the floor of your mouth. Hard to do when you're talking, but easy to, easier to do when you're meditating. So as you relax your tongue on the floor of, the, of your mouth, what that does is it relaxes your vagus nerve and your vagus nerve travels from your brain through, through your head and then out to all the organs of your body. And it either stimulates them and turns them on or says, hey, take a chill pill and rest and relax right now. So the vagus nerve, if we can relax the vagus nerve response, we can automatically relax our whole physical bodies and all of our organs. And so we can do that effectively by just feeling the weight of our tongue on the floor of our mouth. So easy, right? So that's number two. Number three is visualizing the space in your body. And so Dawson Church starts with your feet, your hands, you visualize the space in your feet, in your hands, in your whole body. And then finally, you visualize the space in the center of your head. He says between your eyes, but um, I really like visualizing the space in the center of my head because then my whole head feels it. Like it's not just here, it's kind of everywhere. So however you want to do it, visualize that space inside of you. And then number four is um, slowing your breath down to six seconds per in-breath and six seconds per out-breath. So you're automatically, again, we're, we're sending the message to our nervous system that everything is okay, all is well, we can relax and settle in. And that six second breath really, really helps to, to settle our nervous system. The next step, number five, is imagine that you're breathing in and out through your heart. So those six seconds of inhale and six seconds of exhale, just imagine that they're, you're breathing in and out through your heart. So that's just bringing your focus and your awareness to your heart center. Number six is to think of uh, somebody that makes you feel wonderful. So somebody that you have that loving connection with. For me, I often do somebody I know, like my mom, my kids, my husband, my dogs. Um, and some days I just think of, you know, the gray whales along the California coast or a tiger in India or a fish at the bottom of the ocean, like some, something that just makes me go, oh. I just love you. So we want to just recreate those feelings of love. And that has a whole chemical effect in our body. So that's step number six. And then step number seven is to send love and compassion to every atom of the universe. So from our heart center, we're going to reach out and send that loving feeling that we have when we think of that loved one, whoever or wherever, whatever it is. And we're going to send that feeling to every atom in the universe. So those are the seven steps that have this physical effect on the body. And in Bliss Brain, Dawson Church goes into in great detail what happens physically, what happens chemically, what happens um, in our nervous system with each of those steps and why they're important and what then happens to our physical health, our mental health, our emotional health, because of those changes that we just made by going through those seven steps. Um, I'm not going to go into the details here because I read this book a year ago, and I can't remember the details, <laughs> but they're in there. So if you want to geek out on the biochemistry and the neurochemistry of meditation, um, get the book, check it out, but also my take home message was really that instead of being this vague thing that seems kind of nebulous and hard to wrap our brains around, 
meditation has physical effects on our body at every single level. So it's affecting our, us at the molecular level of what molecules and chemicals are being released in our brain and in our hormones and in our bloodstreams, in our tissues, and every level up to our overall health and well-being. And so it's a, a wonderful, wonderful um, read on how to understand that. And then through this practice of these seven steps, how to cultivate that on a regular basis inside ourselves. So that becomes our new normal, which is really the point of meditation is that we train ourselves to get into that place inside of us where we are that, where we're neutral, we're open, we're receptive, we're aware. Meditation is an amazing tool to do it. And these seven steps of Dawson Church's eco meditation, which he call, I call it bliss brain meditation, but um, that's the most scientifically reliable way to get all of those benefits all in one experience. So let's talk about number two, which I find equally fascinating. The second point I want to make here is that contrary to what science was saying when I was a graduate student and when I was an undergraduate student, the brain is plastic. It's malleable. It grows. It changes throughout our lives. It used to be that people, scientists thought that, you know, once we reach maturity, our brains stop changing. But we now know that that's not accurate, that our brains are changing all the time. And the things that we do have an effect. And so these daily meditation sessions can have an effect. And if you just meditate for 12 minutes a day for eight weeks, there are measurable changes in your brain tissue. You are causing a physical change in your brain simply by taking 12 minutes a day to go through these seven steps, relaxing, focusing, focusing on the space, focusing on the breathing, focusing on the love. All of that has this cumulative effect where you can find measurable changes in your brain within eight weeks. And it only takes 12 minutes a day. It's remarkable and amazing. <laughs> and it's cloudy outside. So my lighting is going all wonky. So I think that is so inspiring and so encouraging. Let me see if I can turn my, my light up a little bit. That might help. There we go. Um, so I, and I just, I totally geek out on that as a scientist. I just think it's so, so cool that we can have physically measurable changes in our brain simply by relaxing and focusing. And the thing I want you to remember about this is it takes a little while, right? You got to show up every day and it takes a little while, but every time you show up, you're contributing to that change, that physically measurable change in your brain. It just isn't going to get big enough to be seen by our instruments until we've done that every day for eight weeks, which is not a very long time, right? So let's talk about number three. Why is this important for animal communicators and healers? Well, animal communication and animal healing is really about honing our awareness and our ability to focus. And to do that, we need to be calm. We need to be healthy. We need to have focus. We need um, the, the molecules of stress to not be present in our body. And bliss brain meditation does all those things. So it automatically makes you more intuitive. It increases your awareness. It brings you to that neutral, open, receptive mindset that is so important for doing any kind of the healing work. It decreases your daily stress. It increases your resilience. So your ability to bounce back when you do have a, a challenge or a problem in your life. It stabilizes your mood. So now you're more even keel. You're more likely when you're even keel to just be neutral about stuff and to focus on your goals rather than just be like, ah, screw it. I just don't want to do it because I'm in a bad mood, right? Those, those bad moods get evened out. And now we're like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll practice again today. Well, it didn't work yesterday, but well, let's see what happens today, right? I'm going to just keep going. And it increases our physical, mental, emotional, spiritual health, all of that. Plus, on top of that, you get all of the 
the overall health benefits, the over 100 benefits that have been identified. You can just look on any um, internet search and find all kinds of lists of all of those benefits, lower blood pressure. Um, meditation has been shown to heal so many ailments physical ailments just by meditating can get resolved. So it's an amazing tool. It's available to everybody. If you feel like I don't know what to do to help me become an animal communicator or healer, start with this, start with meditation. And this is why, because it is this simple. It is this quick and it is this effective. And if you want to know more about Dawson Church and his book, Bliss Brain, um, just do a quick internet search on him. He's all over the place. He's awesome. And he's just such a fantastic ambassador for all kinds of energy work and meditation and the science behind it, which I love, 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 love. So my, my homework for you is to try this, to try it for a week, take a few minutes every day and go through those seven steps. Um, when you do buy the book, you get access to guided meditations from Dawson Church with or without music. I've been doing those every day for almost a whole year now. And about six months in, I started having spontaneous moments of bliss just in the middle of my day, just going, oh my God, my life is so amazing and perfect. And this moment is incredible. And I'd be out walking the dogs and I'd literally start crying because I was blissed out. And it wasn't because I had meditated yet even. It was just that that was the rewiring of my brain and that's how I noticed it. And so anything that can get us more stable, more grounded, more centered, more open, more aware, more intuitive is gonna make us better humans, better animal communicators, and better healers. So my homework for you is to give it a try, put a note in the comments and let me know what you notice and, um, and, and also see what happens with your animal communication or animal healing practice. Do, do you just do it more often? Does it get better? What's going on? Let me know. I would love to hear about it. I'm a fan of Dawson Church. I'm a fan of Bliss Brain. I'm a fan of meditation and I'm a fan of you. I want you to become the best animal communicator or healer that you can be. And I hope this is a tool that helps you do that because we need you. The world needs you. The animals need you. People need you. The planet needs you. So let's go do this thing. All right. Let me know how it goes. I'll talk to you soon. Bye, everybody.